feeling sticky and sweaty all day? Wishing you could relax on your bathtubs, but you don't have any bath bombs? Well, here's the perfect video for you. Wait, what's a bath bomb? That sounds explosive. Does it work like one of those hydrogen or atomic bombs? Sort of. Well, with different ingredients found at home, you can easily make a bath bomb by yourself. Very simple. First, we would need these ingredients. Baking soda, Epsom salt, citric acid, food coloring, cornstarch, water, and castor oil or any essential oil. First, let's place the dry ingredients together in a mixing bowl. With a measuring cup, pour one half baking soda into the bowl. After, pour one fourth cup of Epsom salt into the mix. Next, pour one fourth cup of citric acid into the bowl as well, together with another one fourth cup of cornstarch. With the dry ingredients now clustered, Let's mix them slowly with a whisk. Now that the dry mix is done, it's now time to mix the liquid ingredients together. First, pour 3 teaspoons of castor oil into another bowl. Next, we pour enough food coloring just to get that perfect pink color for our bath bomb. Once that is complete, just add a tablespoon of water to complete the heterogeneous mixture. Then, we mix with a spoon. Now that the mixtures are done, it's time to mix both the dry and liquid mixes together. Very slowly, we gradually add the liquid mix to the dry mix. We need to make sure that we do this very carefully, just to make sure that the liquid does not react with the baking soda and citric acid just yet. After carefully finishing that, we are now left with a fine powdery pink mix. With a plastic molder, we can now slowly form the shape of the bath bomb with this. After a full day of letting the mold rest, we decided to test it out for a go. And we can totally say it worked. The citric acid and baking soda in the mix, in some way, were the secret weapon in this recipe. When contacted with water, the sodium bicarbonate and citric acid reacted to the water in the tub, and thus, this is the reason for the bubbling up. The cornstarch acted out as a dry filler of the baking soda and citric acid and controls the fizz. With this, the bubbly and fizzy reaction causes the oil and the pink color spread through the waters. And there we have it! A very easy and fun DIY bath bomb with the help of chemistry, the power of science. Well, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed our video and greatly appreciated the wondrous and simple logics of chemistry found in daily uses.